You did say I had to tell you the derivation. Come on, I've told you. <laughs> this is getting a bit academic, isn't it? Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, and today I'll be teaching you some British slang. Bevy, short for beverage, usually means a beer. We say let's have a bevy. They usually mean go to the pub and have a few beers. Um, but it can be used as a hot beverage. You can say let's have a bevy and they mean a cup of tea. I've got a, I've got a little beer on the go at the moment. Um, it's not my favourite. It's a German wheat beer because I ran out of IPA. I'm not complaining. But after this, I'll probably start on the wine. Cheesed off. Fed up. He's cheesed off. What's up? Are oh, you upsetting? He's cheesed off. What am I cheesed off about? Oh, well, I had to... I had to postpone some gigs. I'm getting fat and old and tired. So, yeah. <laughs> one, one, one sort of transient specific and one just in general that's getting worse. <laughs> I'm not cheesed off about anything. Although anything can cheese me off. But I can go into a restaurant and it'd be a lovely restaurant and quiet. And then there, there sits people too near me. That's cheesed me off. Yeah, okay. I'm annoyed now. So, in life, nothing really, nothing really, nothing really upsets me too much. But in reality, any tiny thing can just, can just make things not perfect. <laughs> grim. You don't have the word grim in America. Oh, grim. It, oh, it's perfect. It's, it's, it can be anything from distasteful to really boring. If you know, like you'd say it about a really old, um, broken industrial town or something. Oh my, it's grim up there. It's grim. You could say it about something that's disgusting, like, oh God, don't go near him. He's grim. It's like, oh, horrible. Grimy. I suppose it's from grimy. Bog standard just means absolutely generic, normal. It could apply to anything. Box standard car, just a normal, off the, you know, production line. Everyone's got one. Bog standard. It does the job. It's nothing flash. Because bog here is also slang for toilet. Balmy. You can't. You finished. He's balmy. Is <whistles> cuckoo. <whistles> Pants. Well, two. There's two slang really. Pants. A short for. Under underwear, underpants, you use it to mean trousers, we don't. But pants in the slang sense strictly would mean rubbish. That is absolute pants. That is awful. That's I'm not even it's not worth the trouble. Don't don't go and see that film. It's pants. Rubbish. Dishy. You'd say attractive. A woman watching telly would say, oh, I like George Clooney, he's dishy. It's not um, aggressive or seedy. It would pr probably come from cuisine, wouldn't it? Oh, what a lovely, yeah, it probably does mean what a beautiful dish. What a lovely, what a lovely present day. It's basically equating George Clooney to a big plate of pasta. <laughs> chinwag, chat, talking. Let's have a good old chinwag. It's like an old sort of quaint term, two middle-aged women talking over the garden gate. They're having a right old chin wag. Look at them. Oh, they're having a right old chin wag. So yeah, it's, a, it's that sort of thing. Off license. You don't have off licenses. Oh, of course you do, yeah. You'd call, them, you'd call them liquor stores. You couldn't drink there, but you could take away. So it was to do with old sort of pub licensing laws and sort of uh, consuming things on the premises. It's a liquor store as opposed to a license a pub, yeah. You go, you go, you can only take, you can only get takeaway. Well, nowadays it's all delivered, isn't it? I don't have to go out of the house at all. Tosser. Derogatory term for someone you don't respect is a tosser. Also, it's probably the same derivation as wanker. Absolute, absolute wanker. It's a slang word for masturbate, so he's an absolute wanker. He's an absolute tosser. But it doesn't mean that, literally. It just means you don't like him, he's a tw you can't trust him, he's a twat, he's an idiot. Absolute tosser. I can't stand him, he's an absolute tosser. Geezer. He's a geezer, he's a bloke. He's a, he's a, he's a good lad. It's a sort of uh, a, a male sort of term. There's a sliding scale of how much respect there is. Because he's an absolute geezer, could mean he's a sound bloke. I tr he's a geezer, he's a good laugh. He likes his beer and his football. He's a geezer. He's a right geezer. He's a right geezer. 
right? Oh, yeah, yeah, he likes to gamble, he likes to smoke, he's a right geezer, right? Or, careful, he's a bit of a geezer. What do you mean? He'll, he'll rip you off. He's a bit of a geezer. It depends how you say it, yeah. Shambolic. Well, it's, it's all over the place. There's no structure to it. It's random. It's rubbish. It's shambolic, you know? You go into a restaurant. Who's running this restaurant? It's absolutely shambolic. The waiter over there didn't take my... The, the table's wobbly. Look, your maitre d's chewing. This is f***ing shambolic. <laughs> Anywhere in this company. But anywhere there's a general public, you should know better. Waz. Well, short for waz up, can be, like, idiot. Or, is an absolute waz. Or it could be like, oh, what a waz, like, things have gone wrong. Or, it could mean, um, a piss. I'm just gonna have a quick waz. I'm gonna have a waz. I don't use that word, because I'm educated. Todger. Affectionate term for... A penis. It's Todger. That's his Todger. <gasps> He's got his Todger core in his zip. You wouldn't get the Sopranos saying Todger. It's not a call. Cool, it's not, it's a, it's a quaint, acceptable euphemism for penis, I'd say. Well, that was British slang with me, Ricky Gervais. Hope you learned something. I did. Thanks for watching. Cheers. That's slang. Cheers, isn't it? Cheers. I don't know what that means. Cheers. Why is that? Cheers. Cheers. Does it mean cheer? Cheer? Cheers? What does it mean? We say cheers like thank you and cheers sort of touch glasses. I don't know. Anyway, cheers. <laughs>